Oh, yeah, that's right. It is Madman Mundello coming at you live from the Gardner Garage here in beautiful Alabama. And I'm watching Beavis and Butthead. Check it out. But. <laughs> hey, Beavis. <laughs> She's got cleavage. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Beavis. <laughs> I want to stick it between her boobs. <laughs> I am the great Cornholio. Oh, I need to be for my bungalow. Oh, yes. Feel my hair. Mmm. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway. Jesus. Okay. Chris Maranto. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, bro. Sorry, sorry for splooging all over your video. Anyway, <laughs> Chris went ahead and he sent in an Xbox here, okay, to me. And uh, he sent me a one terabyte drive and a wimpy little 20 megabyte drive that had his profile on it and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, he wanted an RGH. And, well, buddy, I obliged you because there it is, okay? It's all done, all right? We got a Trinity base model, one terabyte drive. Up on line servers, along with a 10-day trial of the Purge 4 GTA 5. We're going to boot this son of a... And we're going to put it over here. <laughs> Man, Beavis was so cool. Look, <laughs> I love it. Looks like me in the morning. Anyway, we're booted, okay? Now, we're booting up. Into, sorry. <laughs> Got my TV working in here. Um, anyway, <laughs> we're booting up into FSD Dash. We're going to get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online and live. There you are. Welcome to Butthead. I mean Alliance. All right. <laughs> and one more. And you're off on Beavis. I mean the Purge. Okay. Now. <laughs> hey, Beavis. <laughs> Purge 4.0. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's roll through this, shall we? Alrighty, on your emulators, okay? You have Beavis Plus 360, I mean Genesis Plus 360, you have SNES 360, and you have Main. There's enough stuff on there that'll bring you back to the era of Beavis and Butthead that you, you, you won't know what to do with yourself, okay? There is more arcade games and old-gen console series on there. Yeah, yeah, one one of them has four, over 4,000 4, games on it, so have a blast, all right? Xbox Classic Games, okay? This brings you back to, like, uh, 2000 or so, 2001. All right, backwards compatibility. We have, ready? Need for Speed Most Wanted, Wolfenstein, Unreal Championship, True Crime, The Punisher, State of Emergency, Juiced, Halo. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 3, Ghost Recon, uh, Dead or Alive 3, Crimson Skies, uh, Conflict Vietnam, Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30, and then back to Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now, our homebrew section where you can really screw your Xbox up royally if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know what these programs are. Okay, so, here we go. We have Dash Launch, XM360. Okay, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Name Flasher, Internet Explorer, FX Menu, Flash 360, and back to Dash Launch. Xbox Live Arcade. Okay, a myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games, and yes, I included your favorites, okay? And Beavis and Buttheads, too. We have Trailer Park King, we have Baby Maker Extreme, <laughs> hey, Beavis, <laughs> boob, <laughs> bun, one in the oven, <laughs> okay? And we have Baby Maker Extreme, too. And then, of course, we have Goat Simulator. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's get to the meat of this thing, shall we? All right. We have Advanced Warfare, Warface, UFC 3, Tomb Raider, The Sims 3, Super Street Fighter 4, Splinter Cell, Sonic Unleashed, Sega Superstars Tennis, Saw 2, Saw 3, Saints Row the Third, Red Dead Redemption, Pop Cap Collection, a collection of all kinds of all the old Pop Cap games and everything else. PGR 4, NBA 2K16, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Minecraft, Medal of Honor, Hitman, Halo Reach, Halo CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Ghost Recon 2, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fable 2, Fear 2, MMA, Defiance, Crisis 2, Call of Duty World at War, Black Ops 3, Ghosts, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Bulletstorm Epic Edition, Borderlands the pre-sequel, Borderlands 2, Biohazard 6, which is Resident Evil actually, and Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, and back to Advanced Warfare. 
To get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard. Mash the A button. Mash it one more time. And as you can see, the UR, hello again, Chris Morento, you're on Alliance Live. You have 30 reserve days left. Got it? Good. Okay. We will bypass the sign-in. As you can see, you're up here online. You are live. Our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD with our off hosts, which happen to be uh, Ghost Cheats and Modern Warfare 3 Cheats. To get back to the original dashboard, just smash the A, well, actually, to get back to FSD dash, just smash the A button at Xbox Home. Now, Chris, bro, I'm going to tell you how to get this online for the first time on your network, okay? Please pay attention to this because this is rather important, okay, all kidding and jokes aside, okay? When you get this crazy thing, okay, before you plug it in, pull the drive door and pull the hard drive out. Now, wait a minute. Oh, boy, this thing is so tight. I hate these cases. These cases that I got are ridiculous. Brand new, and yet I've got to sit there and, and, and finagle this thing. Anyway, look. As you can see, oh, yeah, it says 250 on it, and we all know it's a lot bigger than that. Anyway, put it, place it up there after you get it out with a pry bar or whatever, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to power the system on. When you do, you're going to come to the Xbox Blackboard screen. When you come to the Xbox Blackboard screen, slide to the right. Go to System, go to Settings, go to Network Settings, okay? Then what I want you to do is I want you to click on your Wi-Fi access point. When you do, put in your password. When you do that, it's going to initialize a test. It's going to check mark off LAN. It's going to fail on Internet. It's going to fail on Xbox Live. Perfectly fine. Shut the system down. Okay? Then, take the hard drive. And this thing is tighter than a virgin. It'll seat with a click. <laughs> Close the drive door. Then what I want you to do, I want you to pull the power supply and let it sit for about three minutes, okay? Once you let it sit for about three minutes, all right, while you're watching Beavis and Butthead, all right, what I want you to do then is once it's sat, I want you to plug it back in, power back on, you'll be good to go. Chris, thank you for your business, brother. I greatly appreciate it. I'm glad I was able to help you out. We will be shipping it off uh, tomorrow. Lorraine will have a tracking number for you by tomorrow evening. Thank you so much, guys. You all have a good one. And I'm working on another crazy project that I got going on. And you'll see it. Anyway, you all have a good one. I'll write you later.